Alright, um, this is Joe Lolo, and uh, I apologize, this is like the five millionth time I've tried to do this recording. i um, using a different software right now, um, so hopefully this is working right. So, I'm going to be going over how to manually fix that uh, hit numbers don't match bug with hit database. Um, just a note, this will work with or without the patch, this will work Chrome, Firefox, whatever. The only caveat is my new version of hit database will not work with Firefox. Um, there's a couple changes that need to be done and I can pull those up. Um, these are the changes that I made. Um, I pulled these out, these lines out, I added these lines and I put this method in underneath of whatever method this was in. Um, so there's two options if you run Firefox. One, make the changes on the working version of Firefox that you have now. Or two, um, code a new version based off of mine that uh, uses divs instead of opening new windows. That one's really complicated, that's why I haven't done one yet. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> this is how to fix it manually, and this will work. Um, it's worked on everyone I've walked through, and it's worked on everyone I've done. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to go through my other video, um, how to export, fix, and import um, the hit database uh, on YouTube until you get to where I say the Excel part is done. Now that's your first hook. Um, there's two places where you can make these changes. One is in Excel, which may be easier, maybe harder for others, and the other is in um, Notepad++. I did my changes in Notepad. Um, Excel might be easier, it just depends. So what we're looking for here, um, let me explain what happened. So Amazon changed the way the hit database um, or I'm sorry, Amazon changed the way status pages encoded their links, um, which just means the URLs changed shape. Um, hit the hit database, this function here, was set to use numbers in specific locations. Obviously that doesn't work anymore, and it causes problems like this, um, where the hit ID is now this malform string, um, and the requester ID is now this malform string. That doesn't work, and that causes all kinds of problems. Um, but the interesting thing you can note is it's doubled. This hit is the same as this hit. I don't know why it shows up twice. Honestly, I don't. I found this by accident. I don't know how this problem came about. I just know how to fix it. So you can see there's a couple of the ones that I have, and they're all doubled in some way. Um, I actually have 10, I know from previous runs of this video, but they're all doubled in some way. So you can safely delete them. So let's go through how to delete them. The first way is in Excel, um, and that might be easier for some. Um, I'm at the point right now in that video that I made where I have changed all of the hits to paid, all the zero dollar hits to paid. I have um, gotten rid of all of the blanks and all the extras and everything like that. Um, I've changed the date format. I am ready to save this uh, to continue on. So now we're going to make these changes. And the easiest way to do it is to click Requester ID, this little drop down in your table, um, and then click on Text Filters, and click on Contains, and then type Requester because this should only be a Mechanical Turk ID, and if a Mechanical Turk ID, the randomness contains the word requester, then you'll notice. Um, so then click OK, and you should only see those malformed lines. Um, I should have 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. And I got the 10 from the alert box when I updated hit database. It says, alert, hits don't match, one number does not equal another number. The difference between those numbers is 10 so you'll be able to find your own um, and fix it. Now, the fix for it, um, right click here on the number and click delete row or hit the D key. Then right click, delete, right click, delete, right click, delete, right click, delete. All the way, oops, that time I didn't do it. Um, all the way through, there, done. That's it. Uh, now click the drop down and click clear filter from requester ID and that's all you need to do and now I need to check here because um, I think I might have replaced a line doesn't look like I did okay so that's all you need to do continue on from where you left off in the uh, in the other video and you're done you should be fine um, the other place to do it is in notepad when I'm in the notepad um, section it's basically the same thing you do a find for requester ID equals 
Uh, make sure you're in, you're in normal search mode and click find next. Um, if you click count, you see 10 matches. So you click find next, triple click, that selects the line and the delete key. Find next, triple click, delete. Find next, triple click, delete. Find next, triple click, delete. All the way through to get rid of all 10 of these malformed lines and that's it. Then when you click find next and it says can't find, you're done. Continue on from the video like you, like you left off. So it's not that difficult. Um, the important thing comes and the reason why some of you are still having problems is because if you look, actually let me do it here. Um, I'm just going to undo all of the changes. Oops, not that far. I don't want to go that far. Um, create table. Um, shoot, I might have messed this up. Let me redo. Let me redo everything, um, and then we will go back to there. Okay, um, so this is all broken now, and I really shouldn't have undone all that. But um, what is what is happening? Wow, that made some really crazy changes. Um, I've actually completely forgotten what I was going to say because this is this is nonsense here. Um, let me try going all the way back. Okay, so. I will redo. Oh, oh, I see. So it's not going all the way back. Whatever. Anyway, um, I don't even remember what I was going to say now. Shoot, I have completely lost it. I apologize. Um, so that's how you do your changes. Oh, that's what I was going to say. The reason why it's important, and I guess I can show you here. It's just going to be harder to see. And the reason why some of you are still having issues because if you look. 619 is the last day that I did hits. So you can see the requester information there. So that's the last day that I did hits. Um, but you can see here 617 is also a malformed one. And the reason why some of you are having problems is because um, you have hits that are older than 40 days um, that are not getting caught by the patch because the patch only does 40 days. Um, you have hits that are older than 40 days that are malformed and the patch won't fix that so this will and the best thing about this is it helps it makes a backup um, it's a lot easier than it seems and you don't have to worry about running the patch and then refreshing your whole hit database again like 40 days this should only refresh the last couple days or however many you have pending hits um, so that's it. Nice and easy. Uh, should be a lot easier than everyone thinks, and hopefully it's easy enough that everybody can do it. Um, pretty much it. Um, I need to say a couple shout-outs. Uh, I need to say a big thank you to Click Happier and Princess the MTurk uh, IRC channel, Reddit's MTurk IRC channel. Um, Click Happier is like my debugging guru and helps me stay on task. Spent the better part of three or four hours trying to help me figure this bug out and trying to help me test it and fix it and stuff like that. Um, and then everybody on MTurk Forum, MTurk Grind, and Reddit uh, for sending me messages, giving me test cases, um, asking and help keeping me motivated to do this um, thank you guys so much I really couldn't uh, keep up the motivation and I, I wouldn't have the motivation to do and share these uh, scripts update and share these scripts uh, without you so thank you all very 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 much um, hopefully this helps and hopefully this fixes any potential problems that you might run into um, if not try leaving a message um, on the Facebook page. I don't know if I'll get it. I don't know if they come to my email or not, but uh, it's probably the best way for you to get in contact with me if you're watching this. Otherwise, MTurk Forum, MTurk Grind, Reddit, uh, email, Facebook, whatever. However you all want to get a hold of me. So, um, Again, this is Joel Lolo. Hopefully that helps and that fixed your problem. And that's pretty much it. So, happy turking. <laughs>